Hi, I'm Trish Caird and I'm a long-term member of the Protest and Suffragettes team and today I would like to tell you a short tale of Arabella Scott. Arabella was born on the 7th of May 1886 in Dunoon. Her mother was a teacher and her father was a captain in the British Army. She graduated with an MA from St Andrews University and then later went on to become a teacher. All of the Scots sisters were involved in the struggle for women's suffrage in Scotland and in 1909 Arabella alongside her sister Muriel were arrested and charged with obstruction in London. The sisters served 21 days in Holloway Prison. This first arrest was by no means her last. In 1913 Arabella attempted with others to set fire to the racecourse stand at Kelso they were imprisoned at Calton Jail, where they all went on hunger strike. Arabella was released on licence on health grounds, but she failed to return to jail. Another protest saw her again arrested and sent to Perth Prison, where she was force-fed three times a day and was denied visitors or letters. The theme of arrest, jail, hunger strike, ill health, release on licence, sometimes return to jail, became memorable. In her autobiography, My Murky Past, Scott described a force-feeding tube being thrust into her mouth past lumps of broken teeth and into her stomach. After vomiting due to this mistreatment, she was castigated. You did that on purpose! When told that the government would send her over to Canada, she replied, that would be tantamount to saying that all this protest of mine was in vain and wrong, and I would be giving in. Her sentence was commuted when, two days later, World War I began. Arabella married Mr. Colville Rees and emigrated to Australia. She died on 27th of August, 1980, in New South Wales. <laughs>